Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 6th, 7th, and 8th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos, and happy birthday. I hope September is treating you well. Well, this is the weekend reading, so I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Um, you know, I want to tell you, the energies from, you know, what it, I think it even goes back to June. June, July, August, they were very, very intense. So, you know, I mean, and it, it was affecting me too. So I just, you know, please, please know that. So today, um, you know, I was thinking about it and somebody had told me last week, a good friend of mine, and I said, why aren't I doing this? I went through my entire house and I just saged it. If you don't know what that is, there's lots of things online that can talk about that to you, but it does help to clear. It clears actually all energy out, and then you go back, and, you know, and it's, it was really very important, and I actually feel um, renewed and refreshed. You open up the windows when you do this, and make sure you don't set off any fire alarms, okay? Okay, or smoke alarms, I should say. But it is something that really does lift that um, energy. I actually pray in my higher power's name as I go through each room. I also remember to go through closets, and I, go, I call them the hidden spaces. You know, and like I said, I have my doors open and I have my windows open. And it does help to clear it out. I feel much more, I feel more rejuvenated now. So, wanted to share that with you. Oh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for everyone who does. Thank you so much, and thank you for viewing. Okay, one card has popped out. Okay, now oh, two more cards have popped out. Let's see what they say. Nothing is reversed. The first card is the Queen of Earth. This is your energy, Virgo. This is definitely yours. Of course, it is Taurus, and it is Capricorn energy, too, your solid energy, things you can touch. A lot of times it's your money, and it's your job. And I love the Queen of Earth because she gives me this very comforting feeling. You know, she gives me this feeling of, of just, you know, I don't know if you want to call it Mother Nature, if you want to call it the universe, of just basically giving back to us. So this weekend is an energy of giving back. Now, this is, the Queen of Earth is warm, creative, warm, I'm sorry, thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So I get, you know, when it says deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner, so, you know, yes, life has challenges. That is always going to be part of our life. So it, I feel like instead of, instead of letting the challenges rile you up, rile you up, um, you know, to step back, get grounded, look and, you know, and, and, you know, even whether you be male or female, it doesn't matter. Ground yourself to really look at those challenges as how they are, okay? They're not, they're probably not as big as what you think they may be, if they're even going to be this weekend. It may be more a case of, you know, that maybe, you know, because this week I feel, I felt like this was kind of a stressful week for you. So you could be entering the weekend where you need to um, almost detoxify from the, the pro, you know, the previous week. And, you know, so your, your, your nerve endings, you know, they might be more towards the surface, <laughs> if that makes sense. So you may, you know, ground yourself, take some deep breaths. And, you know, and just when this comes, really think it out a little bit. Don't be reactive. You know, try not, try not to be reactive. Okay, let's see what the next card says. The Seven of Fire. Now, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, burning, passionate energy. It can be something that could be very um, helpful to you. It could be something that can destroy you. But any of the energies can do either of that, okay? I mean, so it all depends on how you use this. But this is about seven of uh, fire. Seven's a very complete number. And this is about you standing up for yourself, okay? Now, we remember, we go back to this, you know, the queen of earth. So you have to be able to make a good, you have to make more of a... Um, you know, a, a reasonable argument instead of just, you know, I, so, you know, instead of, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm saying flying off the handle type of thing, because that won't suit you well if you, you know, if you are reactive, 
okay? Some, something is going on. So there may be some triggers that trigger you into some older, be, into some behaviors that you've actually put beside you or put behind you. Be aware of that. So this is defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. And your last card is life experience, Archangel Shamuel. Now this is a, you know, this is the Archangel Tarot card. This is the major arcana. This is something saying things are changing for you. Now, is it how you is it how you've been reacting to challenges? Is that changing for you? Or is it that, you know, there's, you know, that in itself because this is your birthday month, whether you were born in August or not, this is still part of your birthday season, that there's going to be some sort of new and I have been seeing this for, um, you know, for Virgos too. There's going to be some new opportunities coming. Now that could be, remember, relationships can be work or career or even somebody going to school. Um, it could be intimate or it could be family type of thing. But there's something, is, something's shifting. Something's changing. The energy is shifting and maybe you're going to start having more optimistic energy. Maybe you're going to just be seeing more of the possibilities itself or the possibilities could actually come to you in a more tangible form. Okay, so this is a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So this is going to be an interesting, it's going to be an interesting weekend for you. Um, I, you know, I don't necessarily think of this as a restful weekend, but I don't feel that this is going to be a, um, you know, a highly emotional weekend, though, too. I think that you, you know, like you have to, you know, almost like you have to um, plod your course, okay? You have to, you know, um, you know, you have to, this is going to be a good weekend for you to, um, is it going to be for reevaluation? I don't know. It's going to be that you, you take the time and you say, okay, now, I need to, I need, you know, because my, my Virgos, you do have this, spiritual awareness and you do have this intuition that you may not like per se because you know you are such an earth person that you may kind of say you know it doesn't make sense to you all the time but you do have the ability to see into that future you just don't quite know what to do with it and this is that time i think that you're probably you could use this time to actually again you know pl plod your course plod your path you know, and P-L-O-D, and it's kind of like, you know, just kind of, you know, maybe, and it's not even goals, it's, it's more, okay, so this, this is that weekend, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't be more, you know, it, it, it's, it's, you know, the word, the, it keeps coming, plod your path, okay, so my Virgos, as always, know that you are loved, and be blessed, bye-bye.